What's going on guys? This is Ryan with RK Outpost. Today I have some pretty awesome news if you're a fan of the Expanded Universe or Legends or if you're a fan of great Star Wars video games. Uh, it came as a little bit of a surprise to me. Maybe I just hadn't heard that this was going on or anything like that. But Nintendo Direct came out and kind of shocked at least me um, saying this. So let's get to the article. So this is from IGN. Um, just you know, like less than an hour ago, Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast being re-released on Switch. So announced during the Nintendo Direct today, the classic sequel to Jedi Knight Dark Forces 2 will be re-releasing on Nintendo's console September 24th. Uh, the re-release being handled by Aspire Studios, who also worked on the Mac version of KOTOR. It has not been confirmed if the remaster is coming to other platforms besides Switch. That article should be updated because I saw a tweet specifically from PlayStation saying that it is also coming to PlayStation on the 24th. So not just Nintendo, but at least PlayStation 4. No idea about Xbox yet. We'll see. Um, they talk about some other ones, but I want to play you guys this video just so you can get a little bit idea of the gameplay. Obviously, the graphics aren't, you know, uh, the graphics aren't up to date, you know, but these games were so much fun. Let me show you guys this. Here you go. A Star Wars classic so fun, it's back for more. Kyle Katarn, agent of the New Republic, is our only hope to stop a rogue Jedi. Get your lightsaber at the ready, blaster in hand, and prepare to wield the full power of the Force. Courtesy of Aspire, the full single-player experience of Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast is coming to Nintendo Switch September 24th. There you go, so September 24th. Um, yep, and that's pretty much it for the article. So, <laughs> this is awesome news. One, I love this game. I've probably played through it about 10 times or so. I just played through it last year uh, using my Steam account. And it's a great game. Obviously, it doesn't, uh, the graphics don't quite hold up. It was made a long time ago. But the gameplay is fun. The story is fun. Kyle Katarn is a great character. But one of the things, I almost can't stop smiling right now. Because one of the things that makes me excited is that you know, this is expanded universe content. That's what this is. This is Legends content. And it's going to go out to market on September 24th. And a lot of people are going to pay to play this game on the new consoles. So hopefully this can send a message that there is still a lot of desire for great stories, great characters, and great expanded universe content out there. So hopefully... The people at Lucasfilm and Disney are paying attention because this is going to sell big. So I, I can't wait for one. But what do you guys think? Have you played Jedi Knight 2, Jedi Outcast before? What did you think of it? Are you excited late September that it's coming to your, that it's coming your way? Let me know in the comments below. Make sure you subscribe, like the video, and I'll talk to you guys later.